I'm very sad to inform some of you guys that there has been a discontinuation to the earlier machine devices. Now, you guys have been commenting on the channel on a few of my videos that this was the thing. I had to wait till I got an official documentation from Native Instruments themselves. You guys know how it is. I couldn't, you know. I already knew this was going to happen, but I was waiting on the official, official statement. So, yes, it is true. The older devices will be discontinued. There will be no, no, no longer support after November 6, 2024. Those models are the Machine MK1, the Machine MK2, the Machine Micro MK1, and the Machine Micro MK2. So it looks like all of the Mark versions 1 and 2, the Machine and the Micros, Mark 1, Mark 2, okay? Those are the units that will be discontinued. The current devices, hardware units that will be continued in terms of support from this point on, <laughs> shockingly, will be the Machine Jam. Did you expect to hear that one? Okay. So if you have a studio that is supporting, yes, indeed. I know a lot of you guys was like, like, man, this will be horrible if they stop doing that, right? The Micro Mark Three will be supported, and fortunately, the Mark Three, the Machine Mark Three, will be supported, and the Plus models will be supported. So all those models will be will be supported, and I would imagine that there might be a new machine in the pipeline. Maybe I don't know. So like I was telling you guys before, NKS2 is here. It's a new protocol. It's a new code. It's a new everything, right? Which was the other reason why there was documentation based on the machine 3.0 having some type of integration with the new keyboards, the new complete control Mark III versions. It's not full integration, but they made like a fix. I don't know if you guys remember me saying it, but there's like a fix. If you read the document that said that it, you know, is somewhat integrative. And that's just to, you know, get you guys going, you know, and probably can, you know, access the, the keyboard, you know, via media, whatever. I'm not really sure if you can control things like we used to in the machine see see those things i'm not really sure I, I i once i get my hands on it you know guys i will report which is why you should be subscribed go ahead take a second so hit that subscribe button and hit the thumbs up on this video i really appreciate it all right now back to the video sad sad news sad news guys sad sad news but it is official there i will leave a link to this document here about what's happening so just think about it just think about it a big ups to native instruments for lasting this long lasting this long yes indeed machine has been in the zit well yeah the, the very first machine was released like maybe 15 years ago maybe 15 plus years ago or whatever i am happy to announce that I was a part of that. I, I'm proud that I was a part of those, most of it, most of the years that they've been in existence. I was looking at my account and I was just trying to verify exactly when have I been, like when was, you know, when did I buy my first machine? I have the Mark the Mark 1 version. That was my very first unit. I didn't get the, the Mark 2. I felt like it was redundant, just had colors. So to, so to me, it didn't really, you know, I didn't do that. But when the, when the studio came out, I went and got that one. I got it in the white, the white color. Went and got the studio. And then I was doing stuff on YouTube. And then from there, Native Instruments caught on to what I was doing. And then they just sent me everything else. So that's when I got the Mark III. And love it. Love it. 
and it's like I don't only cover videos. I I'm not on YouTube to cover videos because I have one. I actually use it like real life, like doing records. As a matter of fact, yesterday I sent off a record to one of my artists using the machine. Machine was part of that workflow. Like I don't only turn it, you know, it's it's lifestyle. It's a part of it's a part of the, of what we do here. So yeah, I you know, but looking at how long I've been here, um, my very my very first kit was the true school i don't know if you guys know what that is but it was a hip-hop kit that i purchased because it was a hip-hop record i was working on at that time yeah this was october 25th 2011 that is about 14 years ago so i've been rocking with machine ever since ever since so i've i've, I've been here I've, I've, I've been here you know what i mean it doesn't tell me when I bought the machine. There is no record of it, but I do remember I bought that kit like maybe a couple months after the machine was purchased. So it had to be like maybe earlier that year or 2010, maybe. I don't I don't remember cuz I do remember when when the machine was first purchased. I didn't necessarily get into it immediately. It took me a little bit Cause it was like, in my mind, it wasn't, it didn't process. It was cool. I had buddies who told me about it. Like, man, you should pick up the machine. I picked it up, took it out of the box. I'm like, okay, what the heck is this? What am I supposed to, you know what I mean? It just seemed complicated. So I, you know, I'm, I'm from an era where I was using the NPC 2000, 2000 XL, the 3000, the 4,000 all in play with that one time and the 5,000. So I'm from that era. So when you give me something like a machine in front of me, it was, it, it was foreign. I was using Logic Pro at the time and with a keyboard that was MIDI to my computer. And that got me through a bunch of projects. So when you bring the machine in, anyway, when I finally got the machine on board and figured out how to work it, the rest was history. It was like, bet. Why didn't I just like get? It was a mindset thing. I had to get in the mindset to actually learn it or whatever. But anyway, I can no longer use it. Now, what they did do was they they allow everyone up to Sonoma if you're on a Mac computer up to Sonoma that's the operating system so you can use this thing up until that point and I'm not really sure what Windows version they didn't really specify what Windows version but up until Sonoma you can use it so any updates or whatever that happened if you have a computer that supports that I say don't upgrade if you're using the older devices just don't upgrade just if you know keep using it they also allowing VST3 support on that. And this is the Apple Silicon. So if, if, you're, if your computer has Apple Silicon in it, then you're good. You're good to go. Now, if you're on newer devices, then it is okay to upgrade, update, or whatever. It's totally fine. But... It is what it is. NKS2 is a new thing. You know what I mean? That is the, the, that's how these devices communicate. You know, I was telling y'all about that, the NKS2 and how the, the, the Mark version here, the Mark version three or the plus, I think, well, I'm not sure about the plus. The plus might be able to update to the NKS2. I'm not really sure. But I would imagine that the newer, you know, if they release another machine, that's definitely going to be NKS2. But NKS2 is, is, this, is that new thing that comes with the the complete control keyboards, right? They give you a little bit of, you know, integration until the new machine comes out and then full integration. So, 
But big ups to them for lasting this long, yo. Big ups to them for lasting this long. I'm telling you. I mean, if you think about it, like how how long did you expect it, all of these devices to be supported? You know, moving into a new version with all these different things happening. Like, and you couldn't possibly think that the older devices, older devices would be supported. But I ain't gonna lie. I kind of thought that too. It's like, you know, because they last this long, I'm like, man, you know, they're gonna always support the older devices. But in back of my mind, I'm like, man, these older devices is kicking butt right now. Like, th- them allowing those devices to continue to hang with what's happening. You know, we on the Mark III version and you know, some of the people using the Mark II and the Mark I versions are able to continue using their devices with what's happening. You know, there has been some updates that happened in the 2.0 versions and, you know, some of the things that happened d- during those times. The over the old, the older, the older kids are still hanging tough with the old, you know what I mean? With the new kids. I thought that was cool. I thought that was cool. So it's not a shock that we are finally at the end. And a big ups to them for announcing this and making everybody aware instead of 3.0 come out and boom, everybody's like, how come it's not working? So they, they are giving you heads up and I'm on here giving you heads up. So there's no excuse. Prepare yourself accordingly make provisions, it probably is time to just upgrade. You know what I mean? Unfortunately, some of you guys that have already made purchases to buy the older units because they are cheaper, you know, of course. If you bought them on eBay or, you know, any other third-party websites, maybe you had a buddy who sold it to you, you know, you bought it at a bargain, you know, Sorry, I, I really am, but it's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. I am. I am sad to see see that happen. I still have my Mark Verver, my Mark One version. So it's like, what I'm gonna do with it? It's. I think I'm gonna case it. More likely, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna case it. Mine's will be significant because I, I bought it around 14 plus years ago. And yeah, it'll look nice in the case. You know, it's no longer supported. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe maybe I'll connect, keep a, a computer connected to it with the latest version that it, it support. I'm lying. I, I'm probably not going to do that. I'm I'm going to be tied up Using this thing, you know, it, yeah. I mean, for nostalgic looks, that's probably all <laughs> for the looks. Hang up on the wall or something. I'm never going to sell it. Well, that was my that was my concept all this time. There's been a couple people trying to buy it from me, but it's like now nah, I'm keeping it. You know. Now, now, now I guess it, I guess I'm I guess I'm definitely keeping it right because it's not it's not gonna be anyone to sell it to, but it's cool because I was never gonna do that anyway, you know. Anyway, sorry guys, sorry guys, but but how, how does that work though? You know, you think about it. How does it work for? Okay, so a NPC. Now NPCs are much much older much older and those will still work because the software is built into the hardware unit itself so as long as th- those units are not damaged or abused or whatever those will continue to turn on and still work the same you know what I mean but for hardware that relies on software inside your computer and we are always updating our OS's 
Like, how does that work for, like, a MIDI device? You know what I mean? Like, is it even more of, like, like, the value? The value of an older machine that can no longer be used because the software portion of it has moved on. It's like, that's it. That's a wrap. You know, like, how does that work? I mean, you have to have a computer that don't update past Sonoma if you're on a Mac. And whatever the, the Windows version is, you can't, up, you can't upgrade it if that's what you're doing. So, kind of sucks. But, uh, it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. Maybe that just, that pushes, certainly pushes some of you guys. Just go ahead, just go ahead and update. Now, I'm, I'm going to keep you guys updated on, you know, what's happening, but this creates a very interesting it's it's interesting right now because I don't have any updates on new new machine because it, it makes sense that if some of you guys are still using the Mark II version or the Mark I version, you want to stay up to date and you want to take advantage of what's happening in 3.0 because it's not exciting. You know, how do you do that? Like, so then you got to go and buy MK3. Because that's like the latest version right now. But what if they release the new version pretty soon? Like an MK4. Like how does that work? And like because if you. If you. <laughs> and I'm being transparent with you guys. I don't know of any devices that's being released pretty soon. All I know is 3.0. The you know three point of machine the software because it will be a bummer if some of you guys that are using the older devices because you wanna you know keep all your systems up to date if you go and buy the MK three version and it Mark IV releases two months down the line it's gonna be a bummer it's gonna be like dang like what. I just waste money. You know what I'm saying? Now, now I gotta go and get the the new. That's crazy. I don't know. I don't know. Cause any other day I would be like, guys, wait. Just hold on. See what happens. But that's not gonna work because come November 6th. Any support of the older devices is discontinued. And so you guys are out of a hardware unit. But that's, of course, if y'all do not update your system. That's the only thing. You can't update anything. If you're okay with that, then cool. That means you'll just be on that version, that device, watching YouTube videos of me and some other people talk about the machine three and whatever comes out later on you know and then you have to make your judgment of if the value makes sense to you to go ahead and update at that point so but at least native instruments is releasing something and at least they're doing something at least there's something coming. There's hope, you know. Like wow, after so many, after so long, we we've now seen ten plus years or so. We're seeing a new update, and uh, we get to watch people who left the machine and come back just to play. See what's happening in 3.0, right? Like this is gonna be interesting. This this is <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. I have I've have had many conversations with some people who left 
the machine because of the lack of updates and whatnot. And what NPC was doing, and I guess it just worked, worked better for them. But let's see how many people come back. <laughs> let's see. Let's see how many people come back. This is this is gonna be interesting. Super interesting. Alright guys. You know what it is. I'll be reading the comment section and I'll comment. You know, I'm here. Let's talk about this. Here we go. Here we go. Let me put on my reading glasses. <laughs> Get the fingers ready. <laughs> Because, man, I can see them comments coming. All right. Lifestyle Governor Bart. <laughs>